Hello dear student, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see steric effect or it is also said to be an steric hindrances. Both the concepts are similar. So like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates. Steric effect or steric hindrances. Whenever a functional group is surrounded by a bulky group, which protect it from an attacking group, is said to be an steric hindrances or it is said to be an steric effect. For an example, say this, it is a nucleophile and uh, we will see the examples of uh, example of an like uh, in what happens in case of an SN2 reaction. Uh, say this nucleophile, it tries to attack and it tries to remove the another nucleophile. It is It means that it is a substitution type of reaction. So substitution of a nucleophile. This X, it is also a nucleophile and incoming nucleophile it is quite stronger uh, compared to an existing nucleophile so that is why it removes uh, this x from that is the halogen from a molecule so here it is an like a tertiary type of a structure and here it is a primary kind of a structure if we see this uh, there are these are the bulky groups because the carbon it is uh, having a three hydrogens each carbon it is having a three hydrogens and X, it has been surrounded by all these three carbons. But in case of this, it just uh, carbon which is attached to it, it is having an hydrogen. So atoms are small. Hydrogen, it is a small atom. And compared to that, the CS3 molecule, it is a big. Means uh, CS3 carbon atom and it is having a three uh, hydrogen atom. So it will become a big molecule. But in case of this uh, second one, it is having just an hydrogen. So now it is easier for a nucleophile to enter the enter and approach the carbon and replace and make a bond with this by a transition state and remove this halogen remove this halogen from a molecule so this functional group so x it is a functional group so it has been surrounded by a bulky group which it which protect it from an attacking group so attacking group it is a nucleophile and it removes the in uh, removes already existing nucleophile so this reaction it is a sub nucleophilic substitution reaction for an example like uh, see this uh, it is in case of an SN2 reaction so SN2 reaction it occurs in primary carbon but not in tertiary carbon in, uh, as it you might be knowing that uh, SN2 reaction it is an backside attack uh, so backside attack and so backside attack means like this that nucleophile it tries to enter the carbon so here it is entering to the carbon but in this case, uh, when it is in tertiary carbon, it is not possible. It is possible only in case of a primary carbon where the size of hydrogens are small. So it does. Uh, so there are very limited steric hindrances in case of a methyl, but there are too high steric hindrances in case of a this tertiary structure. So similar here it happens that SN2 substituted nucleophilic uh, reaction with a second order. So this second order reaction. Uh, it is having a backside attack but here are two sites for an attack so one is tertiary carbon and second one is in primary carbon but this tertiary carbon it does not allow and substitution so here you can see that this carbon it is as such and here bromine it has been replaced by an iodine because the carbon over here it is primary so there are very less steric effect or steric hindrances for an replacing the existing nucleophile and replacing and substituting or uh, means substituted incoming nucleophile that is an iodine so it has been replaced by a bromine so this it is an steric example of an steric effect caused by an steric hindrances the tertiary carbons are more hindered than the primary carbons so always it will happen as we have talked about that too. the main functional group it has been surrounded by an bulky groups which does not allow an entry of an any other molecule to come and replace it so that effect is said to be an steric effect or steric hindrance hope you understood the concept if you are having a doubt you can comment me in a comment section i will surely answer it so thank you for watching the video